Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is meeting the needs of neglected and homeless or abused children. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about some of the needs of abused and uh, neglected children, uh, Pastor Kay Walker. And I think that many of us are familiar with Pastor Kay Walker. He's uh, uh, been responsible for bringing individuals to us. And uh, he has with him this morning, uh, Ms. Ashley Burns, uh, who is also an individual who has been responsible for dealing with abused and neglected uh, children. And let me welcome you, Pastor Walker, and uh, you, uh, Ms. Uh, Ashley Burns, uh, to the show this morning. And to uh, start off with you, Pastor, by having you to give us some information about your background, your education, and some mm -hmm. of your experiences. And uh, Ms. Burns will give us the similar kind of information dealing with her situation. Okay. And then we'll have an opportunity to get out of this first segment and then go into the next se segment for eight minutes uh, dealing with this uh, issue of meeting the needs of abused and neglected children. Let's do it from that perspective. All right. Well, good morning to you also, Dr. Haney. And thanks again for allowing us the opportunity to come on your show. You know your show has been running for years and it's a very informative show. And I think a lot of people out there watching and a lot of people are being informed. Uh, my name is Pastor Kelvin L. Walker. I'm no stranger here, of course, been uh, like almost like a sidekick to you for from, some from the very, very beginning. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, and, uh, for many years. and I appreciate you and everything you do. I was born right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, two good parents, you know, they raised me right way, raised me well. I didn't always take heed to what they said. You know, I was educated in the public school system uh, up until a point, you know, I always say I got kicked out of the school system. I uh, went into the United States Navy, stayed a short period of time, got out of there and uh, pursued a GED through Opportunities Industrialization Centers, OIC. Uh, spent six months doing that, got the GED, and then went to Tennessee State University. Had a desire to become a fashion designer, but uh, got caught up in drug addiction and the like, and uh, they kind of derailed that along the way and ended up incarcerating the state prison system for a period of time in my life. But back in 1986, on August 24th, God divinely intervened in my life, changed my life, you know, brought me and called me into ministry, and I've been serving others ever since that time, you know, and, and trying to make contact with people that are out here uh, on the ground, getting things done in terms of helping and serving people in whatever way and whatever capacity. It just gives me pleasure to be here today uh, to uh, bring on the show uh, Mrs. Ashley Burns, you know, and I met her uh, through the juvenile court system uh, after my daughter was murdered back in uh, March the 24th, 2015, and we went to uh, take custody of my, uh, of our grandchildren, my wife and I, grandchildren, so uh, that's how we met. Very good. And Ms. Burns, let's talk about your background, your education, some of your experiences. Absolutely. And then I have some personal experience as well that um, brought me into this field. Um, well, first of all, my education is I'm a TSU graduate. I actually started my first year at UT Martin and then um, finished it out at TSU. Um, my major was completely different, was fighting for what I knew that I was, was supposed to be, even though I didn't know exactly what that was. I knew it was something to do with children, but I wasn't sure. And um, got interested because I was failing my pre-med classes. I ended up um, pursuing in child advocacy. Was thinking about an attorney, but knew I wanted to be um, more of a advocacy role mm -hmm. than actually with an attorney because of the politics actually wanted to be more of what, even though there was a lot of stigma with, of course you don't make a lot of money, and uh, is, a case, is a case manager. Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go that route, even though, because um, this is my passion. And I realized that more and more. I did an internship with Juvenile Court um, when I was at TSU, um, working at Juvenile Court. I was a, uh, uh, interning for probation officer at Elizabeth Dial, and um, just fell in love with, uh, with that kind of work. And I realized because of my background, because it was so rocky, um, I was the first one that um, graduated uh, in my family, in my immediate family. Uh, I, um, I wanted to uh, pursue something that involved the court, especially when it came to delinquency and, child, and actually uh, child abuse. I think there's a big correlation with that. Mm. Um, more than we realized, and that was kind of my focus, even though um, and that was my love is to work with the delinquent children because there is such a big correlation with abuse mm -hmm. and neglected child. 
uh, very good and, and, and I think uh, we have I think pastor uh, an excellent show here yes. that will give us a lot of information I think that your background and your uh, activities uh, will uh, be very very important in terms of helping us to see some of the needs of uh, some of the abused and neglected children and of course we're going to take our first commercial break and we'll be back with our audience following this very very short commercial break You know, that's uh, yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. that's always the best. That's and so good. we've got eight minutes when we come back, Pastor. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll start off with uh, you. Uh, what, do, what do you want to talk about neglected children and abused children? I mean, that's our general topic. But what right. would you like to say for about three or four minutes in reference to that? And then he'll take about three minutes and then we'll come back with you for second statements, about two minutes, and then we'll end it that segment with you, okay. but we'll start with you. Yeah, well, I'll focus on what the court is doing, okay. and then I'll go into some of the um, just intervention type of deal that okay. I'd like to focus on with the community and being a support. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's in other words, you'll give us an opportunity to see what the juvenile justice system is all about in a real sense. Is that what we're saying? I'm, I'm definitely going to try. Yes. Okay, well, that's well, that's that's all. And we've Absolutely. got eight minutes. I think a lot you of people so, are not aware of Yeah, that. just take. Uh, the first two or three minutes and talk about that and then give he, he'll have an opp opportunity and so we'll just divide the eight minutes between the two of you three minutes three minutes two minutes uh, a minute and etc you know back and forth like that to give both of you an opportunity to have a good stretch of minutes <coughs> to make some <coughs> okay. excuse me some statements it's your show. <laughs> Said I, <laughs> that's awesome. I don't mind going on mute. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you and welcome back to the show this morning. The uh, topic this morning is meeting the needs excuse me, of abused and neglected children. And we're fortunate to have with us again, uh, Pastor Kay Walker and uh, Miss Ashley Burns. Uh, Mr. Burns, let's uh, have you to uh, take a few minutes of this segment to give us some information in reference to some of the things that you do as a, as a person who has been involved with neglect, neglected and abused children. Well, first of all, I wanna say that I've been with the court for 10 years. I've been in um, at least two different positions with the court. Um, there has been a lot of changes. Um, at, at fir first I started at Family Services and then um, I think about four or five years. Then I, um, then I worked uh, with supervised uh, probation and now they're moving, the court is moving in a different direction with our um, new judge, Sheila Calloway. I believe this is gonna come up her fourth year um, and she is focusing on more of intervention and community supporting um, the, the families that we serve and especially prevention before they even get to, um, to the court or if it can be handled in a formal way. So they're really trying to focus on that um, and that's stretching us as well of how can we uh, meet the needs of children because regardless of how they're how they're coming there is an issue with abuse and neglect anytime you deal with drug addiction anytime you deal with um, the different issues that they're faced whether it be directly an NND issue um, even children just um, screaming at their at their children still that could result um, if if not maybe that that kid to be um, violent if we don't um, address the needs and their simple needs like um, it might be a program or uh, it might be a connection. Hey, do you know somebody that, um, that, that does this or that? Um, I tell my families all the time, just because I close your case doesn't mean you can't call me. And if I can't find out the answer, I'll definitely try to find out who can. And that's the big part of it. It's the simple things that we can do in the community. Mm -hmm. It's um, building those relationships, calling people back when you say you're gonna call people back. Um, treating them with respect, because no matter what, I realized from um, uh, from one of the um, major uh, uh, big uh, 
support systems of juvenile court. Icon, in my opinion, the juvenile court, Miss Julia Tucker just passed away. And she was um, been at the court for years. And she always said, um, when I did my internship, treat people the way you would want to be treated. And you're gonna be okay out there, mm -hmm. out there on the streets and um, doing the case management and that kind of thing. Because we're in some dangerous situations a lot of times and don't even realize it because of um, the covering of being more of a support instead of how dare